Hi boys and girls, it's good to see you today. Thanks for joining me. I have a new color story that I'd like to read to you, but before I do that, I have something that's inside my story stretcher bag that I'm wondering if you can guess what I have. What I have inside my bag is something that's really special to our family, and it is something that is soft and cuddly. So, can you think about some things that are soft and cuddly that might be inside of my bag? My next clue is it is something that is put on a bed to keep people warm. So can you guess something that might be in my bag that's put on a bed to keep people warm and it's soft and it's cuddly? Did you guess that maybe it's a special blanket? I wonder if any of you have special blankets at home that were either made by someone or bought just for you and you sleep with it at nighttime and it keeps you warm and it's soft and it's cuddly. This is a really special blanket that was made for my kids by someone that we love very much. And it's special because it was made by someone that we love and it keeps my boys warm and it, it warms their heart and gives them special memories and thoughts. So this is a special quilt that um, we keep in our home. And the story that I have for you today is called Llama Llama Red Pajama. And in this story, there's a little llama and he has a special quilt that he sleeps with. And you get to see it on just about every page. And on the opening page, they show a close up of it. And it's really beautiful. And it has so many different colors. So what I'd like to do with you before we read this story is I printed out a little picture of Llama Llama and he has this quilt, but it doesn't have any colors on it yet, but it does have some color words. So I am hoping that you can help me today color in or cover up his quilt so that it can be just as colorful as the one that he has in his story by reading some color words. So we're gonna work together so that we can start and begin to read these color words and we can create a beautiful, colorful, cozy quilt for Little Llama. So let's get together and we'll work on making this quilt together before we read the story. As you see here, I have printed out a little picture of Baby Llama and his cozy quilt from his bed and I have all different kinds of color words that are here on his quilt. And color words are gonna be one of the first words that I know that you'll be able to start reading on your own. Your first name and the names of the people that are in your family like mommy and daddy, they're also going to be the first words that you are going to be able to read. But color words are also going to be right up there with the first words that you're going to be able to read. And you do not have to know all of your sounds or ha be able to stretch through all of the words in order to read. Sometimes reading is just looking at words and recognizing them right away, like your first name. So here on um, Baby Llama's Quilt, I have four different colors that are written and I need your help in reading these words so that we can create his quilt. And I'm gonna do a little bit of help because I have the colors here and I'm gonna lay them out that way you know what your choices are as we look at all of these different words. So I'm looking at this very first word here and I notice that it has the letter R at the beginning and the R makes this sound. So as I look up here, I am wondering which of these colors make the R sound. I have green, I have yellow, I have blue and I have red. And I know that red makes the er sound like the letter R. So then I can cover that up just like this. And now I'll look over here and I see a Y. And I know that the Y makes this sound y, y. So which of these colors up here make the sound y, y? If you said yellow, you are right, and you are reading these words. Let's take a look at this one. I see the letter G, and the G says g, g. And I am looking up here, and which of these colors make the same sound? G, g. If you said green, you are right. That is the word green. And here I have a B, and the B says b, b. Which of these colors say b? B, blue, 
good reading. Now let's keep going. Oh, I have another Y. Y, Y. Which of these colors? Y, Y, yellow. Good job. And how about here? B, B. Did you say blue? Awesome. R, R, R for R, R, red. You are helping me and you are reading these words. The beginning of this word has the letter G. G says G, G for green. I'll cover this up here. And then I'll use some of these now. Here is the letter G again, and the G says G, G. So I will take this green and I'll put it here. And here I have the letter R, R for R, R, R red. And I have here the letter B at the beginning of my word, B, B, blue. And the last one, what letter is that? Y, 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 yellow. Good job. And look at that beautiful quilt. When you are starting to learn to read, the first thing you're going to do is look at the very first letter at the beginning of the word and you can get your mouth ready for that letter, meaning making the sound that comes with the first letter of the word. And sometimes that will be able to help you to read the word. So when I am reading and I get stuck, I get my mouth ready for the first letter of the word and then sometimes that will help me read the word. So thank you for helping me make that beautiful quilt for Baby Llama. Llama Llama Red Pajama, written and illustrated by Anna Dudney. She wrote the words and the pictures. Here is this quilt that is on many pages in the story. Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Mama kisses baby's hair. Mama Llama goes downstairs. Llama Llama Red Pajama feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Mama's at the kitchen sink. Llama Llama Red Pajama calls down to his Llama Mama. Mama says she'll be up soon. <sighs> Baby Llama hums a tune. He's trying to be patient. Llama Llama Red Pajama waiting, waiting for his mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby llama starts to fret. To fret means to worry. Llama llama red pajama whimpers softly for his mama. Mama llama hears the phone. Baby llama starts to moan. He's having trouble waiting. Llama Llama Red Pajama listens quiet for his mama. What is Mama Llama doing? Baby Llama starts boo-hooing. Llama Llama Red Pajama hollers loudly for his mama. Baby Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. Llama Llama Red Pajama in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open, covers drawn. <gasps> what if Mama Llama's gone? Llama Llama Red Pajama weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama, llama, run, run, run! 
So now he is screaming in his bed, and look how the mama reacts. She's so scared. <gasps> She drops the phone. She comes running upstairs. She thinks that something's wrong. She thinks maybe the llama's hurt. And she opens the door. And she sees that he is okay. He is fine. He just was having trouble being patient. <gasps> Baby llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes mama's very busy. Please stop all this llama drama and be patient for your mama. Have you ever felt like that? Have you ever had a hard time waiting? And so sometimes you lose your cool. Little llama, don't you know? Mama llama loves you so. Mama llama's always near, even if she's not right here. And even though Mama Llama was very angry on this page, that doesn't mean she doesn't love her baby. She says, of course I love you. And she's always near. Llama Llama Red Pajama gets two kisses from his mama. Snuggles pillow, soft and deep. Baby Llama goes to sleep. So he finally got to sleep after all the end. So I took the little pieces of paper that I used for Llama's quilt and I decided to create a little game that you can play with your child to practice and reinforce the concept of subitizing. So subitizing is a really fancy word for basically being able to have a child instantly recognize a number just based on looking at it. And the perfect example of this is reading dice. And so when you roll a dice, you know instantly that this is the number one. But the goal that we wanna have for our preschoolers is to have them be able to instantly recognize that too without having to touch and count each of the numbers. Um, so what I have here is I have some pennies that are underneath each of these little pieces of um, cloth or paper from Little Llama's quilt. And underneath each of them, I have either one penny, two pennies, three pennies, four pennies, all the way up to six. And I have them positioned so that they look like a pair of, you know, the, num the dots that are on a dice. And the way you can play this game with your child is you can roll the dice, and I rolled the number four. And in the beginning, you might have to touch and count each of the dots with your child in order to get them to know that this is the number four. So we have one, two, three, four. Now under one of my little covers, I have four pennies. And so you can pick one and look at it. Is that the same? No, nope, that's only one. Let's see, does this one have four? No, that has three, and you can touch and count if you need to. But again, the goal is for you to start to recognize without having to count how many there are. Let's look at this one. That's a two. Let's see, is this it? Oh, that looks the same. This has four pennies, one, two, three, four, and this has four dots for the die of the number four. And then it sort of becomes like a memory game as well. So now I'm looking for the number five. I remember that this has four, so I'm not gonna pick that one. I remember that this one had three. I remember that this one had one. So maybe it's this one. Nope, this one has more. This has one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me try this one. They are the same. This is five pennies and this is five dots. Both are the number five. Let me do one more. And there's my number six. I have three on this side, three on this side. Three plus three is six. This is the number six. And I remember that down here at the bottom, there was six as well. So again, this is an easy, simple way for you to practice subitizing, looking at groups of numbers and learning 
to recognize um, the amount that there are without having to count. And this is a kindergarten skill that all kindergartners will be practicing and learning. So it's great to be doing it now. It also, again, really helps develop that strong number sense, which is something that is so important for all of our kids to have, especially before they enter kindergarten. So practicing playing with, talking about, and learning with numbers is something that you can do all the time with all different things that you have in your home. So I hope you continue to play and learn and have fun, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.